Peyton career high, 31 for you mm-hmm. um, through three. Was there any kind of push for you to uh, want to stay in there and, and maybe add to that? No, nah, not at all. Uh, I'm not really like in, you know, stat chasing. Like I think eventually in my career, I'll, I'll get another opportunity and I'll pass it then. What what means more to you, the the 31 points or the 11 the 11 assists? Mm, the balance of both, I think. You know, the the taking what the defense gives me, uh, hitting my spots when they're open, and uh, you know, getting my teammates involved. I think I ended up with like five assists in the first quarter, so like everybody was getting the shot up and like getting everybody comfortable. So it wasn't just like a you know, I'm like had ball dominant the whole time. So I was proud of that. Uh, Joe mentioned that you having a consistent role this season has been helpful to you and your, just your performance to know that you're going to get a certain amount of minutes every night. How has that kind of impacted your ability to be consistent? Uh, I think it, it definitely helps a lot. I mean, for any player, I mean, when you get in spot minutes, it's, it's tough. Like, you don't know when it's going to come. Uh, when you do get the minutes, like, what what is your role out there? Like, what are you being put out there for? And I think in the past, a lot of the time, it wasn't necessary for me to be, like, a uh, point guard or even, like, a uh, – like, a playmaker. It was really like a come in, try to hit some threes and like bring energy defensively, the big rebound and stuff like that. So, you know, I think my role has definitely grown a little bit this year. And with that, like I've grown and and been better at playmaking and just making the game easy for myself, but also my teammates. And you feel like you're at your best when you're playmaking, when you're you're running a bench unit that you're kind of telling everyone where to go and kind of running the show. I think it's something that I'm gonna continue working on, and like you know, hopefully by, by the time my career is over, that's that's where I want to be the best at and being a true point guard. And, you know, that's where that's where I kind of want to hang my hat on. But it's definitely a process, and I'm going to keep working on getting better at that. Thank you. Uh, hey, Peyton, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, to see Nimi go from the start of the season, um, get those minutes, work hard in the G League, now that G League team's in the finals, uh, and then earn the standard contract, what's it been like from a teammate's perspective to sort of see his growth throughout the year? No, I love Nimi. I, I've been a fan since day one. I actually uh, did draft workouts with him uh, my junior year of college, and I ended up going back. So I've been a fan of him since then. Um, good kid, works really hard, and I think he has t- t- like so much potential. I mean, he's a, he's a great rebounder, has great hands. He finishes well. So he has a definitely bright future, and um, we're going to stay on him to stay working, and he he wants to be good himself. So. I was going to ask, where does he rank on the most fun to throw a lob to on this team? Uh, he's probably – he's up there. He might be one. I mean, we got a couple. I mean, KP will go get him. Even Luke will go get him too, so. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Peyton, um, kind of along those lines, a bunch of the guys who have been part of Maine's finals run got some run in there together. Um, what, what do you notice about the chemistry among those guys? I mean, it just shows that why they're in the championship in the G League. Um, Jordan, JD, Nimi, Drew, they all tremendous players, getting better every time I see them. So um, eventually they'll be ready to, you know, t- take that next step in their uh, careers. We talked about it on the floor, but playing in every game this season, how gratifying is that after the ups and downs and the infrequent playing time? Uh, it's a, a, a definitely a big accomplishment for me. Uh, like I said before, like, you know, to play 82 games is tough. But, like, through the summer, the work I put in to get my body ready for that. So, um, but also just, like, the journey of, like, me, like, last year, my second year of, like, times where I didn't play at all and, like, how frustrating that is and, you know, how much that hurt at times. But it just fueled me to keep working. And, like, for this year to to come and play 82 games and be a part of the, you know, the best team in the NBA and trying to do something special is definitely feels good. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.